Hey, how's it going everybody? We are back with another video. Um, just wanted to share this uh, monitor slash computer my stepdad gave me. Um, it's actually, this is a health monitor. Um, it actually had a um, Asus uh, Chromebox, which is this puppy right here. I tore it all apart. Got the heat sink right there. Um, here's the motherboard. So the story with this thing is um, it had a um, what's called a health health monitor, some type of sky kit that it boots. It had an SD card in there, so I took that out. Then I took out the uh, hard drive uh, M.2 and wiped it, put it in. Um, it boots Chrome OS, Chrome OS but um, they turned off developer options so we can't um, reset it. So what I did here is hook up with my programmer again. We're going to flash our core, core boot to it. I already um, scanned it here, uh, read it. I already saved me a backup of it just in case anything else goes wrong so we can flashback to our original locked file but yeah so I'm gonna try a couple of uh, I even have an open core that uh, supposedly can run Catalina uh, so I'll make it a Hackintosh but um, I would like to put a Chrome OS back on it so I'm just gonna play with it and see what uh, flash some things to it see what uh, I can uh, see what I can get done I did try to go into developer mode and it is disabled and um, of course I made a USB with the, the firmware on it and uh, it resets it goes back to the setup um, and as soon as you connect to um, the Wi-Fi and go to the next page uh, enterprise enrollment then um, you try to log into your your, um, your account and it says you're not authorized so yeah it's a uh, this is on the chip level where they have the, um, you know, the security stored. Like I said, I already um, reformatted the M.2 and, you know, that didn't help. Took out the SD card and formatted that. And, yeah, it still goes to the Skynet. And I Skynet, Skykit. Um, some kind of software, health monitor software stuff. Um, so that's where, we're at. that's where we're at on it right now. Um, I'm gonna flash a, a file here and then um, I will come back and see how this goes. But yeah, that's the back of the monitor. So they got everything mounted. It's the Asus charger. And then it splits off into like a, a Y with the power adapter. And then the bottom here, the monitor, you still got VGA, uh, display port, HDMI. So that's, that's what the. Uh, I was going to on the Chromebox was a HDMI port. But yeah, it's a cool little cool little thing. I hope I can get it past it, which I'm pretty sure I will, but it's taking some time and research. But have a great day and I will come back. So I find I found the right bin file to flash and it said preparing for developer mode or it says it's transitioning into developer mode and then now it says preparing system for developer mode so I got it right here I think it's gonna work didn't even get all this across the top it says 99% over here in the corner So the file I had to flash was this right here. Call it shellball dot G U A D O Gudo or that's the name of the um the uh the Chrome box and then dot bin. And I found that on a form site. Actually let me show you the form site I found it on right here. 
There you go, right here, this one. Mr. Chromebox.tech files, firmware, shellball, dot G-U-A-D-O dot bin. And that was on a Reddit post. So I downloaded that one. Shellball dot bin. That's the file that I flashed. So we were completely not even able to get in developer mode. It said it was disabled by owner. So all I did was read the chip, save it, back up, erase the chip, and then flash the .bin file. before I leave somewhere to go help my stepdad. Preparing system for developer mode. works I'll be so stoked this is just like the simplest but it helps out a lot when you got this tool and you're able to just clamp onto the the little chip the little ROM chip read it erase it slash a file so I'll let this go and I will resume once it comes back There we go, everyone. Super easy to do. Let me hit accept real quick. Ah, stupid mouse. So I'm already logged in. This was super easy to do. So this is a uh, Chromebox CN62. That's the model. Chromebox. CN62. So you're going to take the motherboard out. You're going to clamp to the BIOS chip. Then you're going to, you're going to, of course, you're going to need this programmer so you can clamp to the BIOS chip or if you want to desolder and put the BIOS chip in a uh, another programmer. And then you're going to use shellball.guado. That's if you're using this same model. Because that's the, the code name, G U A D O dot bin. And I found that on a Reddit site. That's what I flashed. Set up like new. I'm already logged in. I was able to turn developer mode back on. you're all set get started there we go we're on our desktop and I am logged in so easy to bypass that uh, developer be able to turn developer option back on and reset from my enterprise locked uh, Chromebox model CN62 Thank you for watching, comment, subscribe.